All right, so this is the first stop of the day, and my usual first stop is going to go ahead and be the golf clubs. And like I said, big dry spell when it comes to golf clubs. I haven't found one in the thrift store in a really long time. And right here is going to be a Maglite. Maglite is a really cool brand to pick up, and I usually do pick them up, but that is actually not supposed to look like that. Uh, there's something definitely going on with that thing. It's cool. It says LL Bean on it, but I go ahead and just put it back. All right, as I make my way through, I'm always suspicious when there's a really good looking sweatshirt or shirt or something with a big logo on one of these end caps. It usually means there's something wrong with it. And right here, looks like a huge oil spot and I don't really pick up anything with a lot of stains. I'm just not good at getting them out. And right here, I haven't been in this Goodwill in a long time. They've switched around a whole bunch of things. This is their electronics portion. As you tell, there's a lot of things on this shelf and I end up do find out some pretty cool stuff. All right, so I've been in this store for about 10 minutes now and still have not found anything. I thought I hit the jackpot here. I like picking up Honeywell things. They make good thermostats. They really make a whole bunch of good items. I scan this. They only want $10 for it, and uh, I go through this thing pretty good. It was in really bad condition. I thought it was like an open box item. It's not. They do sell well for about 60 bucks, but in that condition, I wasn't going to have to. I was going to have to clean it, and it's going to take way too much time, so I put it back. Also, in the plushes, I have to put that bear back. That's a good Winnie the Pooh, legit bear, somebody. Uh, I learned that from one of you all that you know viewed the channel. Uh, I end up putting him back because he's got a big hole in it and a lot of stains on him. But I do pick up Orloff, and then I do pick up one more plush here. And remember, stay to the end, and I'll tell you all the comps. So I'm thrifting with Kayla and she comes up to me and has this really cool Jimmy Buffett set and we didn't know exactly if it was missing some stuff but I had a lot of questions on my last video about what app I use. I just use the regular eBay app and they do have a scanning uh, section right there. It's at the top right. Then you just scan the barcode just like this and then it comes up. If this was in brand new condition it went for like $60, $70. This one's actually missing, missing two CDs but I also go to the sold just to see how much it sells for and that's basically how I comp things out in the store. Now, never skip the pots and pan sections. I find a lot of cool things in these sections, and uh, this is no exception. This is pretty cool. I actually don't know what this is. I do go over this at the end of the video, and maybe somebody can actually help me out with a couple keywords on that one. All right, now the thing I'm about ready to pick up is super interesting, and I do go over what this thing is. If you know what this is, before you actually see the sold comps on it, go ahead and tell me down below what you think that gigantic metal thing is. Now this is the second stop and this uh, Goodwill is the new Goodwill up in the Market Commons area of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and it is in the definitely like a higher end area and their prices kind of reflect that. Those are always a good pickup if you can get them for five to eight bucks. That one was 15. That's a body massager and uh, they have a couple like record players in here. They have a sewing machine. The sewing machine's $100 and the record players are 30 That's still a good deal. You just can't really make a whole bunch of money because of the shipping on eBay on those. Oh, they're pretty they cool. Just need to be dust off. 
And then look at these. Ooh, yeah. These are like super nice. They got leather laces? Yeah, they do have leather laces. Hmm. Yeah. See, they're seven bucks now, but these right here, just look these up. I bet they're pretty good. I'll have to go get a cart. Does Coach go good? Uh, yeah. Is that real? I don't know. Alright, as you can tell, we are finding some killer shoes here, and I just found some Coach, like, slip-ons. So, my biggest thing about picking up, like, designer ones are, are they real? And at the end of the video, I do pick those up, and I show you how I figured out that they are real. Right there, those are Sanooks. They are really good shoes, but they will charge you, I think, $7 at the uh, Goodwill for those, and they're only worth about $25. So this is a good example about how I look at shoes when I pick them up. And I do miss things, but I try to like look at them really well. So I just flip them over, see the inside, make sure there's not a wear on that back or that back part's broken. And then I look at the soles to make sure that you know there's not a lot of wear there. And then I bend them and twist them to make sure that the soles aren't falling away from the shoe themselves. These make the cut, so I do buy them. Here's another name brand, really nice looking sweatshirt on an end cap and has a stain right there. But the biggest flaw with this is you're about ready to see as I try to unzip it is it the zipper is broken. So I leave it behind. Can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. If you're reselling, you could sell these. These are like $200 shoes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, the only uh, thing that's wrong is uh, that right there. How much does I think it hurts the value? I don't know. real good with the lady shoes. Me too. Absolutely. I'll definitely look they're them up. Very, too. very expensive. <laughs> they're, they're only sold in like boutiques. Really? Can't go to the mall or anything. Hmm. Yeah. Very awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, Krispy Kreme. All right, so we are back from the thrift store and we got some really good shoes and some other items. One of these items that's super surprising, we'll go over, but let's go ahead and go over the shoes first and we'll go over these. So the first pair of shoes we picked up, these are Asics. And whenever you ever see a, like a high top, really flat looking shoe, this one says Math Flex on it, which this is going to be a wrestling shoe. And wrestling shoes sell pretty fast for me. Again, uh, my shoes at the Goodwill are going to be $7 unless they're flip-flops and they're, I think they're $3. Uh, but these usually good sole comps and they sell fast between $20 to $30. Dansko, again, I've been finding a lot of these lately. And these are like uh, heeled sandals, almost in brand new condition. As you can tell, there are very little wear on the bottom. And these actually have a pretty good sole comp around $30, $40. Sperry's right here, Sperry Top Siders. I only pick them up if they have leather laces and really if they're a cool design. These are a glittered leopard print and uh, there are no real sole comps on the glittered ones. There are some that are just regular leopard print that go for about 20 bucks. But usually with Sperry's, I can get uh, 20 bucks plus shipping. Right here, Coach, I usually stay away from any type of designer name just because I don't know if it's real or not. But on the interior of this, there is a little code right there. I type that into Google. The same shoe pops up, has the exact same markings. And these have a really good sole comp. As you can tell, these are in like really good condition. There's not much wrong with these. Not a lot of wear on the bottom and in the midsole or anything like that. And sole comps are looking, everybody's taking best offers but as high as like $65 down to $50 for best offers. So you don't really know what they uh, are making on these, but I guarantee it probably 45 bucks on those. Golf shoes, I'm very particular about my golf shoes. Some are worth a ton of money and some are worth not that much. Now this is a pair of Nike women's golf shoes and there is a little code on the inside of Nike shoes that you just go ahead and type in. And uh, these do pop up, sole comps, and these are in really good condition. My, my, the shoes that I pick up that are golf shoes have to be in good condition because they're so hard to clean. The spikes are in good condition here. If these are all broken off, that means you have to, you know, the person's gonna have to buy new spikes, but these are all looking good. So uh, right there, probably about 20 bucks. Another set of dance goes, these are like uh, backless clogs, healed. Again, super good condition on the bottom. And uh, probably about 20 bucks on those. Kayla found these really good looking Sperry's. Uh, these, they're actually kind of difficult to find. I typed in high top 
boat shoes because these don't have like a heeled bottom they have a more of a boat shoe bottom and that's kind of like the keyword that i'm going to use i did find a pair not quite as nice as these that went for about 20 bucks i think these will go for about 30. they are like in super good condition they're ju just a little dusty and i've been again using that uh doc martin's wonder bomb leather conditioner and it brings it back to almost like really good looking shoe so this is gonna be super easy to clean actually all these shoes are gonna be super easy to clean as you can tell they are already very clean and these are probably in the worst condition but they are a really good pair of shoes these are nike air monarchs and again there's a code on the inside that i just typed in and that's the code that i type in right there the one that begins with a four type those in sole comps easily 30 bucks plus shipping now this hat I always pick up, if you notice, I did pick up like a Chick-fil-A hat. I always pick up hats that, you know, are related to businesses. Workers, you know, might lose them or they want a specialty hat if they work there. This one has no sole comps. There are no pink Krispy Kreme hats out there. But Krispy Kreme hats sell very well, between $10 to $15. The one that is pink is actually on sale. There's only one on sale, and it's for $50. Now, I don't think this is worth $50, but I'll probably list it for about $15 to $20 plus shipping. Now this is a cast iron like grill it or grill pan square with a press. I actually cannot find this thing yet and the cast iron is from Outset Cast Iron and, that, and that's what it says on the back of this, cast iron by Outset and it is just really interesting. It's got these nice metal handles where you can pick it up, put it on the fire or your grill or whatever. Just needs to be cleaned. The inside's pretty good. Uh, there is a fairly large chip right there of the enamel but other than that it is just an interesting piece that I had to pick up again no sole comps no nothing I'm thinking $45 plus shipping uh, if you have any keywords about like what this would be called I've looked up everything that I possibly can and haven't really find anything like this I mean it's even got like a pour spout on it so if you would if you do know go ahead and tell me down in the comments and I much appreciate it we got Olaf Mr. Olaf here and he's a bab and he goes easily 12, 10 to 12 bucks plus shipping. Then I did pick up Doc. And Doc here, the reason why I picked Doc up is because he had a Sega tag on the back of him, which is pretty neat, Disney Sega tag. And he goes, there's no soul comps just with him alone. There are him with uh, another one and he sold for $22, so I'm guessing 10 bucks plus shipping. This right here, probably one of the not so good buys today. Uh, this is a Lennox, and usually I pick up Lennox stuff, and I really can't even find uh, a soul comp on this. The Fall Bounty, it says it right there, and that's how I looked it up. Also, you can Google Lens this, and usually with patterns, Google Lens is super good. And I found one on Macari that's going for like 28 bucks. I was thinking probably 20 bucks plus shipping on eBay, and probably take a best offer. Now, this thing is the coolest and weirdest thing that I've probably bought in a long time. It looks like a, a garlic press on steroids so i was like what is this any type of restaurant wear i always like to find because it's always worth some money this name brand is palmer and it is listed as like a potato masher slash pasta something and i'll obviously throw up some soul comps but definitely good soul comps only one listed two sold so a super good sell through rate and it goes for about 44 dollars. so that's not bad i picked it up for five bucks needs just a slight bit of cleaning in it got it for five dollars and like i said 44 bucks on that that's not too bad so right there not a bad day in the thrift at all some really good shoes that we picked up and this is what i do for a living if you're new to the channel welcome my name is julian also is the beard thrift machine here on youtube and i buy stuff and flip it online for a living and make youtube videos about it i much appreciate everybody that's been watching as you saw even if you're in the thrift store and people know that you're a reseller they still will help you out like that nice lady told me about that that brand was called brighton i didn't end up buying those shoes just because the damage on the bottom i thought was a little bit too much for how much the shoes were going to cost some of their shoes are 25 dollars shoes in the used market in the new market they are very expensive but they do have very expensive shoes and very expensive purses. I'll go ahead and throw up some sole comps of both of those. So definitely be on the lookout for those, but make sure you comp them out correctly because some of them are definitely worth, I think purses can go up to like four to $500. So thank you so much for the information, but when people know you're a reseller, they still tend to help you out and I much appreciate it. Also, I wanna go ahead and thank Angelica for buying a hat. Carolyn for buying me a coffee and Bill for buying some stuff out of my store. I also added some more stuff to your order. So thank you so much. If you don't know what buy me a coffee is, there's a link down below and it's basically a way you can tip one of your favorite YouTubers and I do appreciate it. Well, I do appreciate everybody that watches and you know I will always catch you on the next one.